So here we are at Randwick Reds, one of the most beautiful, beautiful, and probably one of the oldest. I think it's got rough, roughly in the 1920s with um, Australian film, Australian directors, and Australian actors. It's also got the war. It's very similar to Hollywood. The Randwick Reds, and oh my God, I think that's Jeremy Seams, one of Australia's amazing actors. He's actually got a film out called Last Camp to Darwin. And I think, oh my God, Last Camp to Darwin. Are you serious? Is this, okay. Let's just go and have a chat. Let's have a chat with him. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very well, thanks. He's so Sir Edmonds, and you are? Oh, I know who you are. I'm Jeremy Sims. You are Jeremy, you are, yeah. you are. And you, what's, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just chatting with uh, these guys here at the Rabbit Ritz about the, how my film's going. It's just, it's been on here for five weeks. Mm. So right. I'm just checking the numbers as I right, do. Right, right. I'm a producer on the film as well as director. So oh, okay. Are you, are you how happy? much money it makes is important. <laughs> <laughs> and are you happy with how much it's Couldn't made? be happier. It's taken six and a half million at the Australian box office. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. I don't get any of that. Mm. Yeah, well, they keep it all here. Do you, look, have you got have you got five minutes to just have a quick chat? Yeah. If that's okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to have a talk about you. Um, what, five to ten. Five to ten. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, mate. No worries. Thank you so much. That's the Mill Street one. Friend of mine. Right, right, right. You know what? I'm. I want to. I want to take this up. You should check with them if you're allowed I'm, to do that. They'll be fine with it. Yeah, we'll go upstairs. Have a quick interview. Go on then. I'm not responsible for this. <laughs> I didn't do any of this. What was that? Don't let Michael's brains fall out. <laughs> Bit of colour. Get the backdrop. Yeah, pick him up, right? Okay. Huge the latest film, Last Cab to Darwin. This one here. Yeah, that one there with um, mm. Mr. Michael Cation. So many uh, controversial issues in it, including suicide and interracial relationships. Why were those um, particular issues? Euthanasia is a taboo subject all around the world. Um, it's not unique to Australia. Um, racism is an issue all around the world as well. Um, Australia just has a very particular flavour to its racism here. Um, we have an indigenous population. Uh, that were supplanted by Western uh, civilization only 200 years ago. So what about the viewers? You know, how did they take to it? How did they respond to those particular issues in the film? The film tries to illustrate, um, but it's not a polemic. It's not uh, didactic. The film. I don't want to tell people what to think, and I don't want to bore people with political activism. So I just present the characters, and you know, there's the main character knows she's not allowed in the pub, even though legally she could walk in there and buy a beer. She knows she's not welcome. Um, and our main character, Michael, knows that if he told people that his girlfriend was an Aboriginal woman, that that would cause, it would be complicated. So you're wearing so many different hats, you know, acting, producing, directing, writing. How are you balancing everything? How do you get, keep centred? But in terms of centering to, 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 to do work, I run. I go for a long run. I, I'll run 15 k's and, and I have some of my best ideas, thoughts, clarity of mind on the second half of a 15 k run. Do you motivate yourself or are you the guy that likes to be motivated? No, I'm a self-motivator. I tend to, I, I like to go and get other people excited about stuff and then when they're excited and they're working on it, then I get them to excite me back, you know. This is my third film, and, and they're very compartmentalised. So for, during development, I'm a writer and a producer, mostly, uh, and I do those things separately. A lot of people don't like the responsibility of producing, but they do like directing, um, but that's not me. So I've kept doing that, and, and now I like going to act. You know, when people hire me, I just turn up, learn my lines and do my job, and that's fun. And then as we get close to, to being able to make, we've got our money together, and I take my producer's hat out and I start directing. And there are people, as you know, that write, produce, direct, and act. And I haven't tried that yet. I, um, I don't think I, I really like being on set, but I find it pretty complicated at the best of times how those guys know their lines, are in character and are directing the scene as well, I, I take my hat off to them.
Is there one particular role that you love more than any other? No, not really. I think I'd get bored doing just one of them. Um, you know, being a producer, raising money is, weirdly enough, it's a lot of fun. When you have a meeting, a good meeting, and you come away from a meeting, you go, wow, you know, I think we just got $200,000 towards our film. Um, that process is really rewarding, but I wouldn't like to only do that. I love that I can stop doing that and go and do something else that's a bit more fun. We're talking about fun. Do you keep fit? Do you look after yourself? What do you eat? Do you cook? Can you sing badly? What do you do? I can sing badly. I cook a lot. Uh, I run. I do half marathons to stay fit. Otherwise, I'd be extremely fat. Um, and I'd like to do some more directing jobs, just directing for hire. Um, but mostly, it seems to be that I end up working on stuff for years and years that I that I really want to get up. I work with Wendy, for instance, who's taking photographs now all the time. And generally, I'll tell her what we're doing, and then she'll ring up and go, "Hey, I thought we were doing this and that way." Uh, it's a it's a vicious circle, as my daughter would say. <laughs> So much of your time, Jeremy Sims. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Yeah.